Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. Today we are going to create this makeup look and review this beautiful palette. And if you're interested to see what I think about it and how, how I created this look, then please keep on watching. I want to start this video with telling that this isn't actually my palette. My sister bought this for her. She was very kind to borrow it uh, so I can play with it and see what I think about it and review it on my channel. And if I like it, I will buy it myself. It comes um, in this beautiful packaging with the shade names on the back. It talks about a little bit of the palette. This palette is less expensive than her other palettes and it's smaller, of course. Here is the shades. They are very, very beautiful. We are going to swatch it. We are going to create makeup look and I'm going to tell you what I think about it. So. Let's start with the swatches. I want to start with this road up here. Swatch it on my hand. They feel very soft. And I kind of like that she created this smaller palette, more affordable. So everyone uh, maybe has a chance to try it or more people has a chance to try it. Her formula is amazing. I mean, look at this pigmentation. Now, the swatches are not everything. You have to have that in mind. Um, but these are very, very nice. The shades can be very bad swatched, but on the eyes, they look amazing. Like Jeffree Star's palette. Uh, the swatches are not the best, but on the eyes, they work beautiful. I really like uh, Natasha Denona's eyeshadows. I really like Natasha Denona's eyeshadows. I think they are beautiful creamy very easy to work with the shimmery shades are not really easy to work with the brush so when i was applying this shade all over the lid uh, it's this one over here called laurel laurel i think i pronounced that right uh, it i couldn't apply it with almost any brush i think the only brush that worked with it is this from esco 05 from um, sosu and it was the only one I could use so I can really have that sharp uh, edge. But it didn't also work to apply a lot of shadow on the eye. So I did kind of pack it as much as I could. And then I went with my fingers and just pack it a little bit more. But I really like her shadow, shadows. And that happens with many palettes. So that's not the only, it's not the only case with this palette. It's most of the palettes that I have. The shimmery shades are really hard to use with the brush. Okay, so let's go to the next road. And I'm going to swatch it like this. They feel very soft. Uh, but it has a lot of, lot of pigment. I mean, this is not the best swatches. Uh, you've probably seen many swatches of this palette. But I just want to show you how they look. And they are very nice, um, no new, new shades for me, nothing uh, that really stands out. I mean, it's a very beautiful palette, it's still on my wish list. If you haven't seen that video, we're going to put the card up here. I mean, it's one of the palettes that I really want, but it's nothing that I haven't seen before. They are beautiful shades, but I think you can find the dupe for it too. Uh, let's go to the last road. This one is beautiful, Day Spring. I think that one is a little bit special. Special. Very pigmented. I like the color selection. I'm, I mean, I don't always use these all over my eyelids, uh, but I think it's a beautiful, beautiful palette and I think it's worth the money. I want it, of course, <laughs> but I'm obsessed with palettes. So let's compare it to the Sunset palette that I have. This is one that I really, really love and use many times. Uh, I'm glad that this is not on this, but for some reason, I don't know if you can see the texture, these shadows get wet a little bit, uh, especially these two. It feels like they have some oil. Can you see the stain around it? Feels like, I mean, they're beautiful on the eyes, very soft, but they have something in them that 
is a little bit oily, but it work on my oily eyelids if I have the primer on. So you see the pigmentation is there. I mean, her shadows are beautiful. And these two, they, they are, and, they are not the same palette. Don't think that you're going to get duplicates, uh, but they go very beautiful together. Let me just show you. They go beautiful together. I like um, this plastic packaging more. Can you see the difference? You get less product, uh, but I think it's okay. I mean, I'm never going to hit the pan in this big palette. Um, I like the color steam. They two, these two go beautiful together. Very, very nice palettes. Let's go over to the look and then, we'll, then I'm going to tell you what I really think about it at the end.
So you've seen me creating this makeup look. I mean, uh, I don't remember creating something like this. Maybe I have in the past. Um, I do like these kind of makeup looks because they go very nice with my eye shape. So that is why I always almost do these kind of makeup looks. But I did go with a darker shade uh, in my crease. Or I created a new crease uh, because I have hooded eyes. So I created a new crease to open my eyes a little bit more. And I haven't used that technique a lot. So I'm learning to use a little bit different that technique because it, because it helps me more to create another crease. When I go with the lighter shades, uh, I I kind of forget to kind of take it a little bit, the darker one a little bit higher. Uh, but this uh, technique hel technique helps me more to create new crease and open my eyes a little bit more. So I really like that. You see me struggling a little bit with the shimmery shades, but I mean I made it work. It's a beautiful one. The matte matte shades they blend like a dream i mean i really like this palette and i still have it on my wish list uh, maybe i will buy it sometimes i have a big pimple here that i but i really like it i think it's a nice palette less expensive than this palette so if you're interested to try maybe you can try these i don't know the smaller versions you know the one the palettes with five shades i think those some people love them, some people don't like them. So if you want to try Natasha Denon's eyeshadows, maybe you can buy those smaller ones. I can't guarantee, I, I can't say what, if they are good, as good as these palettes because I haven't tried them myself. But if you want if these colors, maybe you can save for this palette because it's a very, very nice palette if you can't afford these because these are very expensive. I got it as a present for my husband. And I really, really like it. Um, though I think I like, um, I don't know, I like this packaging a little bit more. And of course, you can always, it's a little bit, dirty. you can always take these shades out uh, and place them in a Z palette if you want, so that's good. Uh, so I really, really like this palette and I do think it's worth the money. Eyelashes that I have on today are Demi Whispers, Demi Whispers from um, Adele because I love these. These are my favorite. They look very natural and also they don't hide my makeup look. So that is what I was looking for today. Um, guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and enter my giveaway. And I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.